Today, we're taking the next big step in our cabin renovation. But it turned out to be a bit more challenging than we expected. This log cabin is 115 years old and had a lot of surprises waiting for us. A bit of a chilly morning today, to say the least. What is this cold outside? It's actually really, really tough to breathe through my nose because the air is so insanely cold. I love living with all of these different seasons because we have summer where everything is just completely green and then we have this really, really tough and challenging winters. And when it's this cold outside, we actually have an expression in Swedish that says it's mygg fritt, which basically means it's so cold outside, it's at least no mosquitoes. We have a bit of a situation. I have filled the entire car with equipment to sand the floor in the living room, uh, polish it or whatever you want to call it, sand it down. Um, and like I have four big, big machines in here. And I did this last year as well upstairs. And then I was then back then I thought it was heavy to carry it from the car to the cabin, but the problem is now that I have to carry it all the way up the driveway. I don't know if you can see it. That is 200 meters that way, and then it's 200 meters that way. And these things weigh quite a lot. So I brought in backup in form of the girls. Uh, so I brought the sled as well, and I hope they will be able to help me pull this all the way, because it's not only 400 meters, but it's also uphill all the way. So this is what I'm talking about. We have this <laughs> massive vacuum cleaner right here. This is new radiators actually for the cabin, and that needs to be brought back as well. This is the actual uh, sanding machine, and there is like, uh, yeah, some other tools. That's a big like fan vacuum thing as well. So yeah, this is probably gonna take a few hours. Now you're probably wondering, why is he doing this in the middle of the winter when it's minus 23 Celsius outside? Honest answer, I have no idea why. Um, I have this tendency to like just enjoy my summer and do all the fun things outside that I can do. And I think, you know that project I really need to take care of? I can do that a bit later. Like the snow is not here for months. And then it's like, the snow is not here for weeks. And then like, ta-da, <laughs> winter. And now I'm standing here and everything is way more complicated. But at, le at least it's a free exercise. You, my good girls. <laughs> thank you so much for the help, sweetie. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks, kid. Thank you. Oh, thank. 
Thank you to this one. Hey. Are you ready to go again? Yeah. Let's go. The funny thing is that this whole segment of carrying everything back and forth from the car was probably a few minutes maybe here on YouTube for you to watch. But I've been out for almost three hours. The project haven't even started yet. I <laughs> spent three hours just carrying. So think about that when you're watching stuff on YouTube. Like you get the very, very like snippets, the highlights, the, you know, you didn't even see all the fails I did during this carrying thing I did. All the cursing, all the tipping over, all the, yeah. It, it's been a bit of a struggle. But uh, now we're here and now we can actually f starting with, with the floor. Floor, I can't even speak anymore. When you're in the middle of a project like this one or just simply super focused on something, it's just very easy to disappear into something like that and actually forget to take care of yourself in the meantime. And that's why I partnered up with Headspace and I'm very happy to have them as a sponsor for this specific video. They are a meditation app that I've been using since 2017. And I've now actually been meditating for 155 days straight. So trust me when I say that I strongly believe in the positive effects of meditation. For me, meditation is both a way to relax, but also a way to reset my brain. Because when I get too overwhelmed, I'm not even sure where to start. And to take a small break and meditate for like five minutes, it does such a difference. I personally use Headspace when I need help getting out of my own head if there's too many thoughts going on at the same time. I usually use the app both in the middle of the working day, but most importantly, it's the very last thing I do before I fall asleep. And since I started using Headspace just before bedtime, I've had it way easier to fall asleep. Besides that, the app is filled with courses, breathing exercises, mindful walks and runs, and so much more. If you want to see how Headspace might be helpful for you, you can try it out completely for free for 60 days. All you have to do is to sign up using my link down in the description, or you can just scan the QR code here on the screen. It's now time to empty this room because last time I did a renovation like this and sanding the floor, I realized how much dust actually gets, I don't know, created. Um, so I have to empty this entire room, cover the doorways with some kind of plastic or something so it doesn't get in the hallway and the kitchen, and then we can get started. And now I can immediately see how uneven this floor is. Yeah, 
That's this, this is gonna be fun. Here you can see what I mean. This is what I just sanded, <laughs> and a bit of here as well along this line. Uh, so these planks are basically like that concave, maybe you call it. So yeah, I think I have to go over them a few times to make this work. I just want to give a massive shout out to these guys, EA Gear Rental. They're based in Soleftio, the town closest to this cabin. And they've been so kind to me before, uh, lending me gear whenever I need it. And they were kind even this time. They have not sponsored this segment, they haven't paid me to say anything, nothing like that. They're just very kind people, so I think they deserve some gratitude back. And one fun thing they do as well, besides lending me this gear, is that they always include, not just to me, to everyone that's renting, uh, the, you know, the boxes that the tools come in, Anders that runs the place, he, in he includes these guys with every little box. I don't know if you can see them. There. They're called refreshers, and it's candy that I grew up with. So these are like childhood memories. I was a very happy surprise when I saw them in the boxes. I've been going for about four hours now. Uh, I don't know if you can tell how dusty it is in here, but it's just insanely <coughs> bad air quality. But it's so insanely cold outside, so I can't keep the windows open. Uh, I have a fan going, but that's not really helping, I can feel. Um, but you can probably hear that the acoustics have changed quite a lot since I removed all the furniture and the rugs and everything. But I think I'm I have the last things here in the corner I need to sand down uh, and this is how far I can get with this machine because it's, yeah, all the planks are very concave uh, so it's very hard to get it, the whole plank, so I have to take this big machine now and then switch it out tomorrow, um, uh, <clears throat> tomorrow I'm presuming, for a small machine that can get in all the nooks and crannies and cranny, cray, nooks and crannies, is that how you say it? Uh, that's the plan at least. But let me show you how dusty it actually is right now. So this is what we're working with. I don't know if you can see it. <sighs> yeah. So as I told you, <clears throat> most of the planks, or some of them at least, uh, are being able to sand down like this. But you see here, it haven't even been touched yet. So that's the tricky part. But it looks brighter, <laughs> but it's mostly just because it's so much of this on top of it. So I think I'm gonna vacuum it now to see how much I actually got and how much I have to do tomorrow. It's around midnight right now, I think. So I think it's time to get started on some dinner because I forgot to make myself dinner a few hours ago. Um, but there's just a slight problem. This is the kitchen right now, which makes it a bit tricky to cook. Um, I think I'll find a way somehow. You know what? I'm gonna be completely honest. I gave up on that making dinner idea very quickly. Um, <coughs> it's just too much chaos in here. But I found um, dried reindeer meat in the fridge. So that's dinner for now. I'm, I'm not complaining. I loved, or loved, love reindeer meat. So, this is also actually a very luxurious dinner. Very simple, but very tasty. Mm. I think it's these moments that is also a bit fun to show. Like, not just like the before and after pictures, but actually just me sitting in this complete chaos on a little stool eating dry reindeer meat for dinner at midnight. Would I change anything? 
No, I don't think so. Okay, this is actually really tasty. Mm. Last night it came about three decimeters of snow, so before we can continue with the floor, there's two things we need to do. First of all, feed the birds, because they can't access any food anymore. Uh, so we're gonna help them out a bit, and then also help me out by insulating the cabin with the fresh snow. So I bought them about five kilos of fresh peanuts. So now they have something to snack on, for a while at least.
So what I like to do is to, when it's this much fresh snow, then I take a big layer of it and put it against the timber wall because it's wood and it's breathing and it's holes here and there. So I can feel it when it's so cold outside like it is right now. It's seeping through cold air, especially through the floor. So by putting up some snow like this, especially when it is powdery, it acts like a layer of insulation, which works actually really, really well. About half an hour later and the whole cabin is now covered with snow. I have my friend Anders here for a visit and he brought his big machine this time so we're gonna hopefully be able, be able to do this floor a bit easier. But as soon as we started, started the machine, the power just... <laughs> so now the whole cabin is out of electricity. So. We, know, we don't know exactly how we're going to solve this yet. We think we might have found a problem out here after some troubleshooting. So well, let's, <laughs> fingers crossed. Yeah, we check in. Anders is hard at work on the inside, uh, but it's a bit funny because we both, him and I, had the expecta expectation of that we're gonna hang out today, have a good time, get some work done, and just get to know each other even better. But we realized quite quickly that <laughs> it's impossible because the machine is so loud and there's no chance of talking. So I'm just getting other stuff done outside, uh, collecting some firewood, and I'm gonna start cooking lunch for us soon as well. But he is doing all the work and I feel completely pointless and doing nothing to contribute.
birthday. Romantic dinner for two? Yes, perfect. <laughs> jag har ju min koppa. Ah, ja, då blir det kaffe. Ja, det är nog. Får välja dina fighter. Ja. Så här låg med ägg och det är faktiskt gud och gott. Det är väldigt simpelt. Ja, väldigt gott. So, Anders was here for about seven hours and sanding the floor. So you can see it's it's way brighter now. Uh, and since he left, that was actually two days ago. So since then, I've been working with this one, <laughs> a very small machine, and going over all the planks that the big machine couldn't reach. And there was a lot. I think all the corners, all the... Yeah, the, this floor is so incredibly uneven. So this machine was a must. So I've done, I've gone over it two times now and I need a third um, passing of the floor with a smaller grain. So it's like a very fine grain. So it becomes very soft because I've done these planks here right now and I haven't done these over here. So I have about, no, maybe. 80% of the floor left, but it's, we're getting there. Hey baby. Hey baby. Hi. Hey. Uh, what are you doing, man? Hey. So here is a good example of what I meant. The big machine couldn't reach these kind of things. Uh, and I've taken the small machine all the way over there and up to here, but I haven't done this yet. So that's next. When you're pushing yourself this hard, and especially for so many days in a row, it's so easy to forget to eat healthy, take care of yourself, and do something that is beneficial for your body. It's so easy to take the easy way out, easy way out and just eat some something crappy. Uh, so today I'm gonna whip something up that is actually gonna give you some really good energy. Ta-da! This is what we in Sweden call semla. Super unhealthy. <laughs> That's so incredibly good. Incredibly good. Mm. Basically whipped cream, bread, a bit of a bit of almond paste. <laughs> I can feel it. I have it all over my, my mustache. But yeah, we in Sweden eat this. Um, it's supposed to be one day a year. 
and then it, they extended it to like a weekend and now I constantly eat it for like a few weeks <laughs> and especially when, when Christine is not around and I'm doing these kind of projects I take advantage of that It's so funny when Christine asked me like, why do you like them so much? But there's not the like. I mean, bread, whipped cream, and a bit of almond paste. I don't need more than that to be happy. And this is my dinner, by the way. <laughs> I'm easily gonna have two or three of these. Mm, mm, mm. The problem with using this machine for so many days now is that it I can really feel the vibrations in my hand so it's just constantly shaking no matter if I'm using it or not so I was trying to sit and edit this video a bit earlier today and when I was handling having my hand on the mouse my hand was just <laughs> shaking even though I really need to get this floor done now I need to give my hands a bit of a break because I can just I feel a constant tremor. So instead of just pushing on, uh, I will actually listen to my body this time and and maybe I should rest completely, but instead I'm gonna do another project instead and then get back to the floor. I'm noticing how the body feels, where there's a sense of heaviness or lightness in the body. Now as you sit there, as you pause for a moment, just allow your attention to rest on the breath, that rising and falling sensation. So I have bought three of these small generators. Uh, one that's gonna sit here in what we call the cozy corner. Um, one in the bedroom and then one in the kitchen because when it's this cold um, it's impossible to keep this cabin warm with just a fireplace at, fireplace at the moment um, especially when we're say we're going to the, uh, to the town and grocery shopping we're away for like six or seven hours and then it, the cabin is almost completely frozen on the inside so the radiators are what very much needed so I'm gonna try to Put this up and see if they make a difference. So this is how they turn out. Then we have a little indicator here as well to control the temperature. And I also put one radiator in the kitchen as well. So just to give you a reminder, this is what the cabin's living room looked like the day I bought it. And this is what it looked like after my first renovation. And then I painted the ceiling and then it looked like this. And now we have arrived at today. A very empty room with very fresh floors. It almost looks like the planks are completely new. You can actually see that I've used two different kind of uh, trees or tree types. So over here, the, the light looking ones, um, they are pine, I'm thinking. And this, the bit brown slash reddish ones, are probably a spruce tree. But look how fresh this is. <laughs> it's such a difference. The next step for the floors is going to be to use this. It's something what we call in Sweden 
poured wax olja. A bit of a mix between a wax and an oil. Uh, first layer is has a bit of a white pigment to it, so it brightens up the planks even more. Just a tiny, tiny bit, uh, but just makes it look a bit fresher. And then you have a second coat uh, of just transparent, but the same product, but a transparent oil to just give it another protective layer. But we'll save that for the next video. But thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys very, very soon again with a new update. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. Just beginning with a nice big deep breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Before you watch the next video, don't forget to sign up to Headspace for your 60 days of free meditation. Link in the description.